So I'm just sitting down to a little bit of a later breakfast. We already did school drop off. Um, kids ate before, but I just, I woke up way too late. So I'm gonna have this French toast now and just use the bread that I had made, the sandwich bread and sliced it up. It makes really good French toast. It's delicious. Okay, we just went on a mad hunt to find our little preschool folder where I keep all these things. They were in a closet that they're not normally in. Uh, but we're gonna do this activity reader. There's two pictures on each page, so Lara and Luke can both make one. And we'll cut it out and they'll practice writing the letters and we'll make a cute little nativity book. Baby, 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 baby Jesus. That's right, baby but, Jesus. Baby Jesus. While they color, I'm gonna read through this book. I'm sure I thrifted it. I think I haven't read it yet. It must have been from last year. I love the cover. It's just a Christmas yeah. reader, so there's a bunch of different stories in it. And we're gonna read um, The Legend of St. Nicholas, page 49. All right, so we just spent some time making some ornaments with glitter, which was quite an adventure with a two-year-old, but we made like a little angel family, which turned out really cute. And then this little glittery snowflake, and then Lara made a little candy cane, which was very cute. So we're gonna let those dry. I'm gonna clean up this big mess, this glitter mess. This has been one of the best buys ever. I got this Martha Stewart glitter set. It was $5.50, $5.49. And I've used it, I mean, probably for like seven years. Like anytime I've needed glitter, I use this set. It's like gold, a rose gold, and a silver. And it just lasts forever. And it's the fine glitter, which I do really love the chunky glitter. It's just, you know, with kids, <laughs> it makes such a mess. Honestly, the bigger glitter probably would clean up better than this really fine stuff. Um, I use like a coloring book that I'm just gonna tear this page out and throw it away. And we got this to throw away, so I'm gonna tidy up. So for lunch, we're gonna do uh, ramen. Uh, just simple, easy. I like to top mine with some scallion and cilantro. And sometimes I put like a ton more veggies in, but we're just kinda doing simple and having some <laughs> carrots on the side. It's definitely the end of the two week grocery shopping and I'll probably be getting groceries tomorrow. So we're just kinda eating through what we have. So it's just before five now. I'm working on dinner. I'm just browning up. This is two pounds of ground beef and there's a little bit of um, garlic in there and some ginger. Like um, I get the ones that's like pre, um, it's like a paste in a container and you keep it in the fridge. It's very convenient. And then I'm gonna make some coconut rice. So I have two cups of rice and then in here I have a can of coconut milk, which is two cups and then two cups of chicken broth. So that's gonna go uh, in the rice, that's what it's gonna cook in. And then in here I have some brown sugar, soy sauce, and water. I'm loosely following a recipe for Mongolian beef that we I've made before and it's really good. But that's with like strips of beef that you cook individually and I'm using ground beef. So I'm just kind of mixing together the sauce and then I'll just pour it over. My beef is just about done. So I think I'll pour that over and let it kind of reduce with the meat. And then we'll put it over rice and we'll have a little veggie on the side and it's gonna be delish. All right, so there is dinner. We have the coconut rice with the beef. I did green beans. I kind of sauteed them in olive oil. Um, kind of the same things like honey, soy sauce, and yeah, I think that was pretty much it. Topped with some sesame seeds, and that's dinner. So we had dinner's done, and we have some ripe bananas. So I'm gonna make some banana bread. Just using a recipe from Sally's Baking Addiction. It did have yogurt in it. Um, so I'm gonna make that, and I'm gonna bake it in this 
um, you know, like wider, shallower pan, just so that I can get like smaller slices. And it kind of works out better. And I'll probably add chocolate chips. I don't think it calls for it, but we always like that. We're actually out of chocolate chips, but the kids got a Hershey bar for Halloween, so I'm just gonna pulse that up real quick and I think it'll work just fine. <laughs> 